Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out this video. Typically, I wouldn't start out this type of video in this way, but I know that it's a bit unique for the channel right now. When I first started this channel, I wanted it to just be a collection of tips and tricks and you know studio stuff and playing and all of that, but I also wanted to kind of take you guys along with me on gigs or different sessions, different things that I had going on as a full-time musician. Because I started my channel just a few months before COVID hit, there really haven't been that many opportunities to do videos like this. I had planned on doing a big vlog on a tour that I had booked in Spain in April, but for obvious reasons that didn't happen. All that being said, things are starting to start back up again, and I just had my first regular gig the other day. I'm just getting started on making these kind of videos, so let me know down in the comments what you think, if you dig them. Um, I'm not gonna be doing a ton of them, but I will do this kind of video from time to time. So again, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I've got the car all loaded up. Um, I'm headed to my first gig since quarantine started. It's been, uh, I don't even know how long, three or four months now. I'm headed down to Miramar Beach. Um, I've played this gig a few years in a row now with my friends Jeremy and Warren. They're in a duo called St. Jane. It's one of the couple times a year I get to play bass uh, on a live gig, so I'm looking forward to it. After I play the gig with them tonight, I'm going to head over to Pensacola Beach where my wife and daughter are. Um, spending some time with some family, so kind of making a little road trip of it all. All right, let's hit the road. <laughs> Safety first. Hey, Michael? Yes. Oh, right. Thank you. The sacred waffle fry. So I'm on the road now, just finishing up lunch. Uh, got about a five hour drive ahead of me. We'll get there and load in and uh, get sound checked and play a gig. All right, so I've been sitting still for about 30 minutes now. Uh, there was some kind of accident or like a big fire or something going on up here. Hopefully we'll get back going here real soon. This is why you leave early for your gig. I left about an hour early, so I've still got a little extra time, but if I sit here too much longer, I'm gonna be pushing it. He said he has my parking pass, but... Oh, yeah, he sure. just came through, you good. Cool, thanks. What up? Dude, got a parking pass for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, welcome. The load in.
Okay. okay. <laughs> oh wait. All the updates I keep getting are just like this date got deleted, this date got deleted, oh, this date wow. got deleted. And Typically, there'll be a couple hundred people at this gig. It's very family friendly, and if it's not raining, the weather's usually beautiful. Between the rain and COVID, attendance really took a hit. Either way, it was still good to see my friends and play some music. Paul, how was your first quarantine gig? Pretty good, I guess. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm back. I'm officially back. <laughs> as, as weird and awkward as it was, Dude, I guess. You, you know what I was just thinking? Um, last year I did this, and then Kelly and I met you guys in Charleston. For did that, y'all drive from here to Charleston? Well, well, well you, you remember those stock up gigs? Yeah. We, so what we did, uh, we spent the night here, uh -huh. drove to Jacksonville, and, spent, and stayed in a beach hotel yeah. on Thursday night. That's and then right. the next day drove to Charleston for Friday and Saturday gigs with the Grange. Little, the Barry family tour. I know, man, it was great. It's a lot of fun. I have no idea what the future of live music looks like. I think things are starting to get back to normal, but only time will tell how it's all going to pan out. I want to be careful for my own sake as well as others, but how do you know what's best? Is this a new normal? Whatever the case, I'm hopeful that once people can gather safely, live music will once again be commonplace and maybe appreciated even more than before. I know I certainly will be even more thankful for every time I can set foot on a stage from here on out. That does it for this one. Until next time, I'll see you out there.